Hello everyone and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. It still feels like winter here, but the trees are budding, the grass is growing, and there's a lot of cleanup that needs to be done outside in the yard. And while I got started in the backyard, my husband started in the front, and there were so many things that I needed to be doing, but the weather was just too nice to be indoors, and doing a little work in the yard was the perfect excuse to spend some time outside. And it was about 60 degrees when we got started, but it didn't take long to warm up in the sun and it really was the perfect day to spend some time outside. The hedges next to the patio need a light pruning and we have a row of privets on both sides of the yard and the privets on this side don't get quite as much sun so they aren't as full as they should be and every branch that gets trimmed will split into two or more branches so the more often I trim the hedges the more dense and full it becomes. We only use electric power tools in the yard and some of them are cordless but some like this trimmer need to be plugged into a power source and I prefer cordless options but they tend to be less powerful and the battery can die when you need it but having to deal with cords has its own challenges. This narrow path on the side of the house needs a little help, but there's not really all that much to do. The mulch is out of place because of the rain, and anytime we get a heavy downpour, the rain scatters the mulch everywhere. So I'm just going to use the blower to clear the mulch that's stuck in between the stepping stones, and then I can spread the mulch out into an even layer. There's not a lot I can do on this side of the house. This area gets almost no sun and the smaller plants are no match for the dogs, but it does help to pull out the dead foliage and freshen up the mulch a bit. 
By this time of year, the geraniums in these hanging baskets should look like one giant red ball of blooms, and I'm not quite sure what happened this year. One of the hanging baskets fell during the storm we had not too long ago, and it's been sitting on the ground where it landed ever since. <laughs> so getting the basket hung back up is at the top of my list today, and I just need to drill a new pilot hole so that I can reattach the hook. I was about to hang up the basket when I decided to give the hook one more turn just to make it more secure. When the basket fell, it landed on the grill and bent the shelf, and happily my husband was able to fix it. <laughs> but I wanted to move the grill out of the way, just in case one of the baskets comes down in the next storm. There's not much to do in the yard during the winter months except clean up a few leaves, and most years there are plenty of days when the weather is nice enough to get outside and clean up. And we had no idea how much rain we would get this year, so there are a lot of little things that piled up and didn't get done before the rain started, so it'll be nice to finally get them taken care of. The rocks in this area help to keep the weeds from growing, but we have a few calla lilies that keep popping up back here, and I keep pulling them out before they have a chance to spread. This time of year, I like to try to get out the power washer and clean the concrete and the patio furniture, but it's going to rain tomorrow and there's a lot more rain in the forecast, so it's not the best time for that, so we'll just have to wait for the sun to come back. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. Look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade 
We haven't uncovered the furniture in months and we'll have to put the covers right back on again, but the wind can kick debris up underneath the furniture covers and uninvited guests like to move in. So I wanted to take off the covers and use a blower to clean out the dust. Love you, wanna see you smile. Where's the happy girl that I know with the heart on? We've had these furniture covers for over 10 years now, so I'd say we definitely got our money's worth, but they're starting to fall apart and they need to be replaced. But I don't wanna get new covers until we decide what to do about the patio furniture. The cushions on the chair need to be replaced. They don't fit properly and they're not the best quality. And I've been trying to decide if we should replace the whole set or just the cushions. If you're ready for a good time, count on I wanted to try a different furniture arrangement to get some ideas, but I need help to move the fire pit. And since my husband was in the yard, I recruited him to help me move the fire pit to the center of the patio. Just relax, all your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes. We are all about the good Putting up this fence is a project that we started back in November, but we've had so much rain that we haven't been able to finish the project. So it's one more thing that I can check off the list today. And for some reason, the grass in the backyard grows much faster than it does in the front. And the grass was so high that it had to be mowed twice. So my husband raised the blades up to make the first pass. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes the furniture is about 20 years old now and it's one of the first things we bought for the house and it's an aluminum construction so it's lightweight and easy to move around and it doesn't deteriorate. And I'm pretty happy with the style and if we did replace the set we would still need to replace the cushions in a few years so I wanted to look into having cushions made for the set that we have now. Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I let figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs 
I decided to give the geraniums a hard prune and I may have waited too long to cut them back and it's the first year that I've pruned the geraniums back this far but I'm hoping it will produce more flowers. But the planters also need new liners and it'll be easier to replace them if the geraniums are cut back. I cut back this geranium in November, but it hasn't produced any flowers yet, and I fertilized all the plants the day before, so I'm hoping we'll see some more flowers in a few weeks. Last year we reseeded the yard, and by the end of every summer the grass is always patchy because of the dogs and the water restrictions, so we try to reseed in the fall, and the yard is a mix of grass and clover, and the clover will spread to fill in some of the patches, but reseeding also helps to keep out the weeds. And we try to reseed at the end of summer so that there's enough time for the grass to come in before winter, and we have to put up a temporary fence to keep the dogs out for a few months until the grass comes in. And it's not very attractive, but it gets the job done. So we found these fence panels to enclose the patio, and if you have Aussies, <laughs> you're probably laughing at the size of this fence, and there was a time that our dogs would go straight over this fence, but our dogs are too old for that now, and we don't want to keep the dogs out of the yard, we just want to give them a detour so they don't water the grass in the same spot every time they come out, and we put the fence up behind the swing while we were trying to come up with a better plan, but either the fence or the swing had to be moved because the swing kept hitting the fence and there's not enough sunlight behind the swing for the grass to grow so we need to replace the grass with something else and we thought a small patch of artificial grass might be a better option so we need to move the fence to open up the area behind the swing. I woke up in the middle of the night mm -hmm. na, na, na. And I wondered how you're always right It gets me I couldn't see what you saw in me mm -hmm. But you showed me how to believe Still gets me When I look back I can see you're hiding Waiting for a moment to step in And I'll never understand how you saw Yeah, I will love you for it all 
It is hard to share my thoughts. Ooh, na na na. It's like cutting a wound in a bleeding heart. It gets me. After I tried every furniture arrangement that I could think of, I decided that I liked the last L-shape arrangement the best, but then I realized that any seating along the backside of the yard would always be in direct sunlight, and it would also look straight into the house instead of having a view of the yard. So in the end, I decided to put all the furniture back the way it was. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. You all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. Forgo, give up everything that I own. Yeah, I'd give it all up now just to be with you somehow. Unexpected love was found. rose in a garden and it shows if I'm honest you're the leaves in mid-August and I've come out here to say that I love you ooh, ooh, you ooh When I got everything back together, I decided not to clean the tables. With more rain just a few hours away, it would be a complete waste of time. So I just trimmed up a few plants that were overgrown and took care of a few more small tasks around the yard just so that I could spend a little more time outside on this beautiful sunny day. We only had a few more plants to trim back in one corner of the yard, but we finally had to call it a day when we ran out of room in the recycle bin. And everything is growing so fast now, so I'm hoping we'll get a few nice days so that we can keep up with the yard. That's all for today. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications before you go. And thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I hope to see you next time. Bye.